What's up guys welcome to your 28th Android app development tutorial. Now let's continue our discussion on Android application components. In this tutorial I will talk about broadcast receivers and intents. Now let's move forward. Now sometimes when you receive an SMS you get to see a dialog box like this. Oh you got a message from this number so so so. Now many a times when your battery goes low you get a dialog box like this please plug your charger similarly when your battery gets fully charged you get a notification to unplug the charger now how all these stuffs goes on these are the things in the android that is carried out by the broadcast receivers in android now how broadcast receivers actually function now we are having the android operating system now whenever there is any kind of disturbance in your android operating system such as your battery goes low you receive an email or you turn your phone in the silent mode you just turn off your Wi-Fi in that case our operating system broadcast a message to all the apps that your Wi-Fi is turned off your battery goes low or blah 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 whatever any kind of disturbance created in the Android operating system is just broadcast to all the apps now who are the applications that hear this message now these message are actually heard by a specific Android application component known as broadcast receivers in the Android. Now in return the broadcast receivers creates a notification or dialog box or a toast message that you are able to see on the screen. Right now broadcast receiver is able to perform such function with the help of the above all components that is the intents in Android. Right. Now let's proceed and give you a very simple example of the call recorder app. Now suppose in our smartphone we are having a call recorder application. Now suddenly there is an incoming call in a smartphone. Now the Android operating system broadcast a message to all the application. Hey there is incoming call. Anybody there to receive this message? This incoming call message is broadcasted to all the application. Now it is a call recorder application that says hey I am here to receive this message. Incoming call is there. Right, it says I am having the broadcast receiver that is ready to catch this message incoming call. Right now, broadcast receiver, what it do? It catches the message and in return starts a service in the call recorder. Right now, when the broadcast receiver starts the service, now what is the purpose of the service? It records all the conversation going on between you and the caller in the background. So without disturbing your call, it records all your conversation in the background. Now, when you disconnect the call, then Android operating system says hey the call has been disconnected which is again heard by the broadcast receiver and that broadcast receivers commands the service to save the file and store it in the phone memory or the data storage or the SD card right in this way the stuff goes on so hope the concept of the broadcast receiver services activity and intents are now clear now the broadcast receiver starts the service with the help of what the intents in Android. So the intents are used to ignite the broadcast receiver to start a service run activity. It also helps to start the service through a broadcast receivers right now in order to move from one activity to the another activity we use intents in Android and also if we want to pass a message or data deliver a data from one activity to the another activity we take the help of this intents right now. There are two types of intents guides, explicit intents and the implicit intents. As of now, we are going to discuss about the explicit intents in details. In the next tutorial, I will show you the, I will again show you the slides, how to write the codes of the explicit intents. I will show you the three methods and after the next tutorial, I will show you the codes of the explicit intents in the Eclipse, right? So stay tuned guys, this is Shrakes from SmartHerd signing off. Catch you guys in the next tutorial and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video. Have a good day. Thank you.